Hello, all you beautiful people. It's Daramuth, and welcome to another video of my own making. Now, obviously, there were two movies that came out over this weekend, and yes, I did see both at different days. Kind of took some time to kind of figure those ones out. So, I did see both the Barbie one and the Oppenheimer one. So, we'll be doing two different videos because it'd be a mess. So, this one is the Bar. Uh, this one is the Barbie one. It's going to be spoiler free first and then some spoilers after and you'll see the sign of when and i'll try not to make this too long because people only want like a 10 minute review of a movie and so be it anyway so first starting out spoiler free part uh i give it a five out of ten uh, uh there were some parts i liked a majority i didn't if i were to give it a percentage uh it'd be 80 percent preachy cringe and then 20 percent funny uh enjoyable and all that stuff now everyone has their different opinion about it whether it's a, a you know feminist this or patriarchy that or whatever uh i will say those words uh are the word feminist and patriarchy are used quite uh, a bit but patriarchy a bit more if you see it you'll understand why so but that's uh would I go see it again? Um, no, I'm not really interested in go seeing it again. I, I just, it was just that preachy enough that I don't want to. There were some funny parts and and the there are some song and dance numbers in it that are, are quite worth it, but not worth it enough to go back. So uh, for the spoiler free part, five ten, uh, when when go back for it. So now while that's a short spoiler free, I'm going to go to the spoiler part because, you know, people, some people may want to see it or not. I don't know, but it just gives them that ability to just, hey, hold off so I can, so don't tell me, don't tell me any spoilers. So uh, we are heading into the spoiler territory. I'm glad I made that. Oh, it could use a little more spicing up. So I'm going to give you a count of 10 before I switch to spoilers. If you don't want to be spoiled, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give a like and subscribe and uh, come around again and see what comes up next. If you enjoyed so far. Uh, and to begin, thank you again. All right. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so for the spoiler part, um, if you were just to go off basis of the trailers alone, it's very deceiving. Very deceiving. Because there's a lot within it that's not talked about. Um, and... You know, right off the bat, from the very get-go, uh, Helen, Helen Marin is is narrating. And if you've ever seen the trailer for the two thousand the uh, two thousand one homage, it's sort of like that a bit. But it, it kind of that's where you hear the first usage of the word feminist in there. And that just so, you know, for me, that suddenly like, oh great, here we go. So, but then we get into the whole. Uh, you know, to Barbie and Barbie land uh, after that monologue. And then we hear, you know, the background song that's going on to this point is kind of wonky as well. Um, but it kind of goes to like a first day of Barbie. And, you know, you, you see the things of, because because from the get-go, this is supposed to be a point of these are kids' toys and from our perspective, they seem alive, but in reality, they're just like, they're still children's toys being played with in a sense. And so they act in the manner and go life in the manner as if they are still in the toy faction. It's sort of like uh, Toy Story-ish maybe, but not so much. I, it's difficult to explain, but that's what it felt like to me. Um, and we go through that bit and the first day seems fine. Barbie just like, everything and all that uh and of course the narrator says that 
Ken cannot live out with Barry's gaze and all that. And that was fun times. Um, so throughout the movie, we're sort of going at the second part of it. Uh, Barbie starts having these weird instances where she slept in late. Oh, uh, during the song and dance at the end of it, however, she asks, uh, do you ever think about death? And that was in the trailers. Um, and so after that happens, Barbie starts having things happen that doesn't usually happen in a perfect world. She, she wake up late. She, uh, her shower is cold. Her food is black and destroyed and uh, her floating off from the ceiling is uh, has her fall down because it seems like the magic, the magic is gone. And uh, it's it's um and part of it has the mo a mother daughter story, which is sort of midway through the movie. Then you have the uh, Ken, where he's gone to the real world and he sees that it doesn't have to be. The Barbie world, in essence, is a little more freer because the guys, and that's where we start begins the seeing of the patriarchy. Although it's it's kind of funny towards the end, uh, Ken was like, you know, if it wasn't without the, I thought the patriarchy was about the horses. When I found it wasn't, I I didn't enjoy it as much. And I thought it was kind of funny, but it did kind of leave some sour spaces in my mouth during it. Not all the way through. Um, you have Ray Perlman, who is the creator of the Barbies. Uh, uh, not actually, but she 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 plays that part. Uh, Will Ferrell's in it, but he, he plays a bumbling C CEO, which isn't too far from some of the characters he's played in the past. Um, but I did I, I I did enjoy some moments here and there. There was some laughter. The dance parts were right uh, nice, like the. Uh, towards the end with the fight, uh, the Kens fighting against each other, and then they break out into dance songs like, well, that kind of shows that at a certain point, men can get along <laughs> and get into a dance number. So that was funny. Um, but I mean, the movie ends where Barbie has a choice. She doesn't want to be a Barbie anymore. She doesn't want to be a doll. And, you know, Ray Perlman's part in this is that, you know, Barbie wants to ask if she can be human, but Ray's like, you know, you don't have to ask the human. And so, you know, she goes and, and chooses that point. And I know I'm leaving a lot out, but I'm trying not to make this more than 10 minutes. Um, so we, we have that and, you know, Barbie chooses the path of being a human and, and uh, after all that stuff, you know, all the talk and all that. Um, she kind of is with the uh, the mother and daughter family uh, that she wasn't, uh, that she, you know, she just met not too long ago. And uh, and what I thought, when, when the ending scene is coming, I thought she was going to a first job because, you know, she's Barbie. Now she's got to work like a human and do all this stuff. And I thought it was for a job, but it ended up being for her going to a, her gynecologist, which I was like, what? And I'm like, ah, okay, you lost me there. And then the end credits roll and they show all the different Barbies made throughout the years, starting with the swimsuit Barbie and then going from there. Um, yeah. So... I guess I'm going to be on the same space with everyone else. Like, yeah, it wasn't made for me. But I didn't want to take everyone else's word for it and believe what they said. So I just kind of went to see it anyway. So that will probably be your view as well. And I'm not going to say not go see it. But I personally wouldn't see it again unless it was a dollar movie. And even then, I'd be like, eh, I have to be really bored. So that was my thoughts. Uh, again, it was 510 for me, 80% uh, cringe, preachy, and 20% fun, enjoyable, laughing. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't go see it again. I definitely not going to recommend. But in the end, it's up to you if you want to see this movie. Because in the end, it's your money, right? You're going to spend it on what you want to do. So if you want to see the money movie... Go for it. If you don't, that's fine. But 
I have given my viewpoint, and I hope you find some use out of that. So, I hope to see you guys again. Please give a like and subscribe again to, to this so that I can reach more beyond the spaces of just now. Because um, I do post to both Rumble and YouTube. And I will be back again with my uh, Oppenheimer one. And that will be a little longer. So thank you again. I appreciate how you come to watch. And I'm hoping to do a live, a live sometime this week. Uh, just as a test run. And go from there. So thank you very much. Have a great day. And don't forget to greet the sunrise. See you around.